Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Andrew Chicken, and welcome back to another live stream. We are back on the PTS for a third day in a row to test all of the wonderful changes on the PTS. We've done a lot of testing already. We've covered most of the balance changes in terms of the characters that actually got changed. We've tested a lot of very interesting and unique synergies with some of the items. And today, we're going to keep on testing and exploring and seeing what sort of silly loadouts we can find. And I also do have one minor goal for this stream, and that is to get a bit more testing in for some stealth characters. Because, as you guys know, Illuminate is gone. There is no more Illuminate item. Doesn't exist. And so, to counter stealth champions, everyone just had their passive, regular stealth radius doubled. It's an interesting design decision. And it's something that we have barely tested. I think I've only seen one Sky on the PTS. And that's me! <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I want to play against some stealth characters like Sky, Saris, Shaolin today. And I also want to play some of those characters and get a bit more testing in on that because we want to make sure the radius is fair. We don't want to go into live servers and just have Sky be OP or something crazy like that, right? So, if you do join the customers today, I would love it if we could test some of those characters, and also I would love it if we could keep the shields to a minimum, because Guardian is almost certainly getting nerfed, and so we don't really need to test it anymore. And also, if there are too many shields, then we don't really get a good opportunity to test the other items, because we're all just forced to buy a Wrecker. It's not very fun. So let's try and keep the barriers to the minimum. Let's play some stealth characters as well, and yeah, see what other crazy things we can come up with here. But yeah, let's go ahead and make some custom games here. I don't think we're going to get regular matches today on the PTS. And uh, yeah, I also got to remember to turn crossplay on for the customs, because apparently this is off by custom default, side. even though I have Shilds the setting have on for myself. Officially been tested. Yes, Shilds <laughs> have officially been tested. Thank you for the Prime Subcon. I appreciate that. Okay, um, yeah, let's... Oh, what map should we start on? Let's play Shattered Desert. We didn't play that at all yesterday. And, yeah, no password. We're on North America, which I believe is the only region available on the PTS. So, yeah, get ready to join at your leisure. And, yeah, let's test some things. Hooray! Oh, XSTB is already here. All right. Yesterday, y'all were misbehaving. You and Kana with the shields and the really, really annoying bunker comps. I don't want to see that today. You see that today? You're not allowed to play. <laughs> I'm not I'm not dealing with that again. I want to test things in a slightly more fair environment, okay? <laughs> this, uh, oof. I want to get a chance to play with an item that's not Wrecker. That's like, that's my goal today. <laughs> so, no, you can still, okay. I don't want to say no shields. You can play like, you know, one shield tank or whatever. But uh, what I'm talking about is, like, you know, double, like, Makoa, Fernando, Rushing, Guardian, that type of thing. Let's not do that. And, uh, yeah. It, it's just... It's really tough for the playtests, because it's... Oof. It, it's... 
it's rough, man. It's very rough. Mm -mm. But uh, yeah, once again, we are doing customs on North America. PTS, remember PTS, not the live servers. And uh, yeah, just join whenever you're ready. I imagine a lot of people are starting their games. The PTS was actually down for a little bit today, which is why the stream is later than normal. I was actually ready to stream at 1 o'clock, and the PTS was not here, so I had to wait. I actually prepared tomorrow's video while I was doing that for the most part. Still got to work on the thumbnail, but uh, yeah. How long are you planning on streaming? Uh, I won't be going for like five hours today, but it'll still be a pretty hefty stream, so... We're going to try and get as much... Playtesting done as we can. I want to make sure the item store is good because, well, I don't want to play with a bad item store. <laughs> I have a vested interest in making sure that the item store is good. As Mr. Paladins, right? <laughs> Hope it went down to fix ROM. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what they've done. So, maybe ROM is fixed, maybe ROM isn't. <laughs> Imagine, they, uh, they pushed a Guardian nerf to the PTS already and we get to test that. Wouldn't that be funny? Do you know that streamers get all $5 of Prime subs instead of $250 they get from normal subs? I wish that were true. <laughs> uh, but yes, if you want to give me a Prime sub, that's a great idea. Because if you have Amazon Prime, Jeff Bezos will give you a free subscription to any streamer of your choice. All you got to do is activate it. So click the little sub button, click on the use Prime sub, and then bam. No extra charge to you. You sub to the channel. You don't have to watch ads anymore, and you get some emotes, and you also get some exclusive stuff on Discord. It really is a great thing, honestly. Boy, howdy, bit of a slow start to the stream, though. We are struggling to get a match lobby going right now. Please, I implore you, if you have the PTS in the chat right now, get on the PTS and help me test some of this stuff. I would really appreciate that. Because, yeah, you get to play some custom games. You get to try the new items. It's a wonderful experience. Trust me. It'll be great. Yeah, not many people have the PTS. It's on Steam. I guess let me remind you how to get the PTS if you don't know already. So, if you pop on over to Steam here, and then click on your regular Paladins, right? There's a little button here underneath Play called the Store page. Click on that, and then scroll right down here to where it says Play Paladins. Right above that, there's this notice. Want to participate in the Paladins public test? Click here to install it now. You click that. It'll install, do its thing, and then, wabam, presto blamo, right underneath Paladins here, you get the Paladins public test. Easy as that. Sadly, it's not available on consoles, and it's not available on Epic Games. It's Steam exclusive. But if you have Paladins on Steam, it's a great thing to do. <laughs> Definitely not shady, don't worry about it. Yeah, not shady, clicking a suspicious link on the Steam page. Nah, it's just it's how it works. Make this a YouTube short so people stop asking constantly. It doesn't really work. I've made multiple videos explaining how to get on the PTS at various points in time. People always just ask the next time the PTS comes out as if the video didn't exist. <laughs> so, yeah. Could just play casuals if you struggle to get customs going, plus it's real games that way. Well, it'll be hard to get casuals because the PTS was just down, so basically nobody's on. It, it is actually easier to get a custom game going, but we need people on. Shorts go more, more viral, though. That's true. Maybe for the next PTS. It's already too late in this PTS cycle to do a short like that, I think. But uh, may maybe next time. I don't know. Andrew, new to this stream, what's this game called? Asks someone who's already been subscribed for... Uh, what is that badge? Five, five months. So, oh. it's called Overwatch Two, and uh, it, it's this game where they added a healing out of combat passive to make things more interesting. So now everyone is their own healer. Yes, we could do four v four or three v three, but that's not the most authentic test. I'm gonna wait till we get a five v five. We got ninety people in here now. We are going to get people in. We just gotta let people download and actually launch their games. Speaking of Overwatch 2, everyone has been actually miserable with Season 8 and Mauga. I played, like, two games of Overwatch 2 since Mauga came out, and he seemed OP. I don't know if they've done balance changes to him since I played, but he seemed ridiculously strong. I don't know. 
Maybe that's just because I'm bad at Overwatch. <laughs> Maybe it is very much a ROM-esque situation where he's busted in, like, the gold elo, which is where I'm at in Overwatch. I don't know. I have not been a fan of Overwatch 2, though. I genuinely enjoyed Overwatch 1. I really liked that game. Overwatch 2, it's a shame that it killed it. I really appreciate, with Smite 2, that Smite 1 will still exist as a standalone game, if I heard correctly. Because, um, yeah, you know, if you're making a second game, then actually have it be a second game. So that way, if the second game sucks, you can go back to the first game. Seems like a no-brainer to me, but I guess not to some of these companies. Oy. People are saying this is release Brigitte, levels of busted OP. What, Mauga? Really? I've been basically in the dark about his feedback. I don't really know much about him, apart from... Oh, they copied ROM! <laughs> Except they didn't. So... One more person. If we can get one more person in here, chat, we will play some custom games on the BTS. So, just waiting on that one last person. Who is it going to be? And again, I remind you, now that we've got 90 people in here, uh, a few of my goals for testing for today. I would like to keep the amount of shield abusing to a minimum, because we know Guardian is OP. It's almost certainly going to get nerfed. And... If you buy Guardian on multiple shield tanks, you're forcing us to buy Wrecker and not actually get to enjoy any of the other new items. Makes it harder to experiment with the items that don't, you know, just directly counter these shields, right? And also, today I specifically want to get a bit more testing done with stealth characters. So if you're on the enemy team, I would love it if you would pick maybe one or two stealth characters. And I will also do that on my team. Because Illuminate got changed in a pretty drastic way, and we have barely tested it to see if it's fair. So, yeah, we're going to do that. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, we got the glitch, where <laughs> there were seven people on my team. All right, that's brilliant. Uh, how do we want to balance this? Well, okay, I can't be on the same team with Kana and XSCB. That's just mean. How about we split them up? We'll do this sort of action. And maybe also do this sort of action. Yeah, that should be good. Alright. I might play another match of Sky. Save! Just to see how Select that feels. Questionator's on the 7. Alright. I could also do Shaolin. See how it feels to ult, maybe. Play with some items. Sure, I'll got do Shaolin. Job for me. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna look stupid no and yeah, I would love, what? like... <laughs> honestly, just a Sky on the enemy team. Like, just straight up. She's probably the easiest stealth character to test and see if it's balanced. Because she is the most stealthed character. Wow, you're, like, really good. Hey, nice. Thank you for that. Gifting one tier one sub from a triple... Grr. X, X, Ns. Yeah! <laughs> Very nice. I appreciate that. Of course you want Kana? Well, hey, listen. I have to split them up, okay? It was either one or the other. I'll, uh, I'll put Kana on the enemy team next time, or XSTV or something. I don't know. All right. Well, ooh, we might have double support in Contract here. What the heck? Accepted. <laughs> uh, they're they're trying their hardest to like <laughs> use the shield tanks, but get away with it by not using too many shield tanks, huh? Fernando Makoa, just one on both teams. Okay, I I see how it is. But yeah, we got a sky. That's excellent. To recap another again, job, what happened to Illuminate? Mark. Illuminate's gone. There is no Illuminate item anymore, but the passive range at which you see stealth characters has been doubled from 15 to 30 units by default for every, carry ad, uh, for every character, period. So, yeah, we need to test that and make sure it's fair. If the enemies did not buy Illuminate last patch, then yes, this is kind of a nerf. But if the enemies bought Illuminate 3 for you last patch, like most people did for Sky, the then this is a buff, because now you basically only have to deal with Illuminate 1 for the entire match instead of Illuminate 3. So it's a sort of a power shift. And Sky also got a damage nerf, so we'll be testing that too and seeing how it feels to play against it. I'm going to play Sand Trap. My builds are outdated, that's, that's of course, but uh, I think this will still be okay for the most part. Five, and four, we will grab some... Three, two, oh, I don't know. How about one. some armor plating and some so horde? And let's head out. 
I am very curious to see how it feels to ult. I mean, I don't think they would have bought Illuminate for me last patch, but, um, you know, just in case, I think it's good to test Shylin. Also see if any of these items are crazy on him. We can just decimate you dots. I should buy Trigger Scent, actually. I'm going to do that later. I want to see how that feels with Shylin's Burst, because that'll also scale with Sand Trap. Remember that Trigger Scent scales with all of your abilities, not just the weapon damage. So it's pretty insane. I need to heal up. Oh my gosh. Where's meditation when you need it? I need to buy meditation and I've got double support? What is this? Healing up out of combat? Alright, well, there's some damage into you. Probably dead, though. Alright, I'm gonna stealth away. I know I'm leaving the totems, but I gotta get out of here. I'm in danger. Kana, please be careful. Oh, no! Oh, boy. Alright, I got the hex, thankfully. Now, Fernando has free Illuminate. He can just do damage over time to me. And that is still absolutely a thing stealth characters have to worry about. Which is interesting. Alright, I'm gonna go Sky Hunting. She hasn't really attacked me that much. Ooh, there's 300. She's low. Ooh, and she's dead. Okay. I really want to see how it feels for her to attack me directly. She hasn't done that yet, but I want to directly engage with Sky. <laughs> I'M ASKING YOU TO TARGET ME! That should be, uh... <laughs> uh hopefully I won't regret that. Um, oof. But, uh... Let's see. Oh, wow. Wait, that voice line was different. Hold on, did they get that skin of voice pack? Hello. Hold on, did, it, did they give... Am I tripping? Am I tripping right now? Or is that different? Yeah. Oop, Sky's back here. Let me see. Oh, there she is. So much blood there she was. Goodness, Shaolin is still really good. <laughs> oh, my. Boom. Pop. Alright, let me ult. Let's just see how this feels. Oh, I missed that. No! Okay, I got him in the end, but uh, the training is wearing off a little bit. <laughs> Yikes. That's it. All right, let's get Trigger Scent at level 2, and let's get more Horde so we can upgrade faster. This will give me 10% extra damage on everything. So if I get a kill, then the Sand Trap, instead of doing 1300 damage, will now do 1430 damage, if my math is correct. That's pretty spicy, huh? Yikes. He's even better with the ridiculous removal of Illuminate. Well, that is what we are testing, for sure. Bear in mind, though, all of Shaolin's damage will get affected by armor plating. Planted, I'm pretty sure counts as a weapon attack, because it's a modified weapon attack. It still applies cauterize and all that. So, if they buy armor plating, that's really going to hurt me. They're not doing any of that, and I'm ridiculously strong as a result, so just keep that in mind. And as the enemies, maybe consider buying that item to make me feel pain. <laughs> Where's Sky? Oop, you're not Sky. You're Fernando. Please stop this. Oh, that true lifesteal from Lilith is amazing. We can wreck him. Yes. I think Sky is over here. I want her to attack me. I want to see what that Illuminate range feels like. Where is she? Oh, she's back here. Crap. Sky! Target me! <laughs> Sky! Where are you? Hello? There's 300. Oh, she's just dead, man. Every time... Every time I get near her, she dies. That AoE did 330 there, though. A little bit of extra damage there. Ooh, Rapid Shot's gonna scale really well with Trigger Scent. Just rapid fire a bunch of damage. Pretty nice, huh? You're not killing me. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. Hmm. Ah, uh, it almost feels like Sky is ignoring me, though, which is kind of the opposite of what I want. Oh, there she is. Okay, I was able to see her there, and hear her. And then die, because apparently I wasn't actually blocking that with the pillar. Okay, cool. I want more of that. I want more aggression out of the Sky. <laughs> I really want to get a feel for if this is fair or not, you know? My teammates as well, when Sky attacks you, does it feel fair? I want to know. I want to know the answer. Like, is she sneaking up on you and just feeling super oppressive or not? 
right? I'll play Sky next match too, I think, and I will also do a bit of stealth action. Ow! Okay. I'm getting paid for this. Koa doesn't have Guardian. Oh yeah, he's just getting Riju. Neither does XS. He's playing Scorch. Yeah, that's that's perfectly fine. That's perfectly reasonable. Trigger sent on Fernando with Scorch. I actually thought about that. I didn't say anything about it, but I thought about that as something interesting. I have to wonder how those fireballs feel for him. Of course, I don't know how many kills the enemy team has really gotten with this match, but, uh... <laughs> you know. Oh, I missed time. That. All right, let's ult. Let's see how this feels for the enemies. Oh, he just won. Okay. I don't think the, uh... I don't think that match was particularly well match made. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll put Khan on the enemy team this time. I won't. <laughs> Uh, oh gosh. Actually, <laughs> it wasn't even really a Kana issue. Uh, Shaolin's just good, huh? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Smite Fernando has a unique voice pack. Yeah, let me check that out, actually. Fernando. Fernando. Uh, where is it? God of War. I show my enemies no mercy. Oh my gosh, yeah, they totally gave this a voice pack. You cannot escape my chains. These chains are not for play. Yes. Keep a lookout for spies. Is this directly ported from Smite? Because this skin was directly reported from Smite years ago, but it didn't have a voice pack. Is that voice pack ported like seven years later? <laughs> it's the same. Wow, okay. Well, hey, that's pretty cool. I like that. That's a little uh, update to this really old skin. It's a pretty nice skin, too. The chains look pretty bad, because they're just, you know, 2D paper textures. But the rest of the skin is pretty awesome, and that's that's a nice thing to make it feel more complete, especially because it's limited skin. I like that. I that's nice. No Alright, let's make another custom here. I'll try and make it a bit more fair on the matchmaking this time. And I will play Sky. I want to see more Sky testing. Crossplay on, no password, North America. Join at your leisure. We will test some more stuff. All right, Kana, you go over there. I'll take XSTV this time. And you can have Questionator as well. And hopefully that'll be fair. Maybe? I don't know. We'll see. And again, if the enemies want to play Sky, that would be wonderful as well. Or Strix, or Sati, or whoever you want, really. Sky. Yeah, Here we go. Sky no Gaming. What. Where can I see the new skin? Well, the Fernando skin is a really old skin, but for the other new skins, they're not on the PTS right now because they're unfinished. So, yeah. The event pass doesn't really work, sadly. Yeah, the PTS was under maintenance earlier. It's back now. I don't know what they changed. So... We'll just figure it out as we go along, right? Mm. Yeah, the Omen skin, the Grover skin, yeah, those don't really exist in the PTS right now. We saw a sneak preview of the Grover skin with a very broken rig, and it looked absolutely hilarious. <laughs> it was just all stretched and mangled, and it looked terrible. Let's do this. Alright. Oh no, it's Torvald, but a lot of stealth champions. Alright, we're gonna have a Sky duel with Kana. I'm probably gonna lose. Uh, but that's okay. The point is to see if the stealth radius feels fair. I'm also going to try and attack that Strix. I would appreciate it if Kana doesn't dunk on me so hard that I can't attack the Strix. I want to at least get it's like one or two matchups against that just to see how it Oi, feels. You got this right. Let's go, testing, baby. testing, testing. <laughs> Alright, let's do debilitate. And I'll use my smoke buffs build. It's meant to be for smoke and daggers, but it's also really old and... It's the closest thing I have to my modern debilitate build, because all of these builds are, like, years old at this point because of the PTS, so. Yeah, we'll use this, and, uh, oh, what do I want as my items? That's the question. What do I buy with Sky? My first thought against that team is to buy Illuminate, so I, like, I don't know what I want now. I could still buy Racker. Thankfully, he's not getting Guardian yet. Racker would still be good, though. Or we could maybe go for Extra Nimble. I probably don't need that. 
I think I'll buy Horde, Three, and I'll buy two, armor plating again, one. just to party time. try and survive out here. And let's see how this feels with half the lobby going invisible. <laughs> Alright, in we go. Alright, there's Kana. And you've got a Lilith pocket. I've got my own pocket. <laughs> I'm gonna pop back here for a sec. There's a lot of them in that room. Oh boy. Alright, I'll keep throwing smoke bombs. Just to heal myself. And maybe I can kill you. Yes, there we go. Poison. Okay. Where is that Strix? Oh, he revealed me. And he's not invis either, but we both kind of just waddled about there. <laughs> that was awkward. Let me see. I'm going to try and go behind again. Oh, there's Sky. Hello. And she saw me there. So I'm dead now. She got the pre-fire. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Uh, let's wait for us to cap and then let's buy more items. Let's get Horde too. I just want to build up credits. Try Trigger Scent? We can buy that later too, yeah. I'm trying to upgrade Horde right now. I want to get credits as quickly as possible so I can, yeah, test some of those items. Hi! Oh yeah, Shred Grandpa. Sky is still really good at tank busting, even with the damage nerf. And the Poison Bolts will kill Questionator. Let's go. But yeah, they uh, they did nerf her primary fire damage by 15 per shot, which is actually pretty huge. But she's still able to do a lot of damage. Alright, that's the range at which we can see. And... <laughs> Mutually assured poison there. Let's go. Oop, hello. Ah, yes. There we go. Let's try and shred the Torvald if we can. I missed the poison. Crap. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, oop. He's up there somewhere. Poison! Haha! <laughs> yes! Okay. Strix is up there, I think. Yep. Let me just throw that up there. Just to be silly. Very silly indeed. Yes. I'll just shoot Torvald since he's down here. I can kill him and we push. Alright. Oh, Lilithal? Okay. Yeah, if you're on the enemy team, please tell me how it feels to play against this sky right now. I can't really understand your perspective of facing me, so I would love to know if the stealth radius feels fair to you, at least. That's what we want to test, right? I, th I think Sky feels perfectly reasonable to play. Like, people are worried that she's going to be dead this patch because of the Illuminate change and the poison... Or, uh, and the damage nerf. First of all, yeah, the damage nerf does kind of suck, but uh, the stealth change isn't really a nerf. It's more of a buff, I feel. Because, again... The enemies cannot buy Illuminate, because Illuminate is gone. So I no longer have to play against Illuminate 3. I only have to play against Illuminate 1. That's a buff. Yeah, the damage got nerfed, but the stealth range got buffed. I feel like that makes her feel a lot better, you know? And just, I don't know, more consistent. That's kind of the vibe I'm picking up here. Poison! Yep, I can see Kana right there. And there we go. Got him. There's Trigger Scent. Hit the poison. Remember the poison scales. I got one extra damage per tick on Lilith there. Wonderful. <laughs> uh, poison. That should kill you. Yes. There we go. Alright. I will push up a little bit, and I will see what I can do. Poof. Alright. There's Questionator. I'm gonna... I'm actually gonna go for that Strix. I should be able to walk past here, and nobody saw me, and then we can kill Strix. That worked. Lilith can definitely see me there, but I think I kill her, yes. Bonus damage. Oh yeah, we one-clip him. Let's go. Let's help with the sky here. Ooh, there's poison. Nice. Ooh, ouch. Alright, he definitely saw me there. Uh, let me do... Let's just max out Trigger Sense again. See how it feels. She's going to go from A to B tier, in my opinion. That might be reasonable. Bear in mind, I'm uh, also not using aim assist. And Sky has one of the best weapons to use with aim assist, because there's no recoil and no spread. So, you just laser people. 
Um, and I'm not using that, so my damage is a little bit weaker than what some people are able to achieve with either better aim or, you know, crazy aim assist, right? So, just another thing to keep in mind. Have a bomb. Uh, oop, there she is. I can see her. There we go. Got her. It feels nice passively having that much of a range without having to buy an item. I think I'm liking this stealth range. But I'm glad we're testing it right now. Gotta play more with it. Lilithult's coming out. Hopefully the team is okay out there. Yeah, it looks like it. We're just pushing right now. Oop. Someone got stretched. <laughs> Alright. Oh, hello. There's some poison. Ooh. Alright, let's be careful here. Seven's in our back line. Poison. Ooh, nice one, Lilith. Okay. Ooh, look at that. With trigger sent, we go back up to 132 per shot. We basically get our damage back uh, to pre-nerf. So... That might be also partially why they nerfed Sky's damage, is in anticipation of this new item and the eliminate changes. I feel it is nerfed more, in my opinion. Hmm. It's interesting to me that I am more positive on this change than most people are, <laughs> in terms of what I'm reading in the chat and reading on, you know, other forms of commentary. You know, in the comment section of videos and stuff like that. Because I think this is pretty fine, honestly, but I guess you're welcome to disagree. I'm just kind of surprised by it, honestly. Uh, Alright. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we just pushed it. Alright, that works. What does Trigger Scent do? It is an item that increases your damage by up to 15% for 5 seconds after getting an elimination, which allows you to snowball kills. Or potentially kill a squishy target, and then turn your attention to someone who's tankier and really hammer them home. And it's also a way to sort of counterplay against damage reduction by getting a bit of extra damage. But it's mainly for snowballing kills. And it seems pretty good. Uh, some people are worried about it. Some people want a nerf. I've seen people wanting either like a price nerf or maybe a scaling nerf. I'm not too concerned about it personally from my testing. But... Yeah. That's the point of testing. We just gotta do more of it. Maybe I haven't played against something extremely busted yet. You know? You should play Fernando just to see how God of War is now. Also, this voice pack feels a bit too coincidental with Smite 2 announced. Yeah, I guess I can try that next. I got 8 kills. XSTB got 14 kills. Wow. I was not the one carrying there, but I still did pretty good. Kana, Udod's Questionator, anybody on the enemy team? Let me know how the stealth feels to you. Sky has zero counterplay anymore, and I don't like it. She just appears out of Narnia and deals 1,500 damage instantly. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, all right, let's just keep testing. Other people can play Sky as well, and other stealth characters. Let's keep it rolling here. We'll do Jack Falls, crossplay on. I will play Fernando this time. I want to try what XSTB was doing with Scorch. I want to see what Scorch feels like with the new item. So... All right, fine, you two can be on the same team. Uh... <laughs> oh, wait, did I click the wrong person? Um, uh, okay, uh, pfft, everyone's moving around. Let's just do this. There we go, gaming. But yeah, since Trigger sent procs on abilities as well, I wonder how that'll scale with Scorch. Hopefully it feels good. We'll see. Also, oh crap, we'll see if I have a good Scorch build on the PTS. I don't think I do. <laughs> this might be bad. This could go south very quickly. Oh no. <laughs> Yikes. We got seven. We got Genos. Uh-oh, I might have to buy Meditation with the Genos on the team. <laughs> uh, we got Sati as well. All right, nice. Yeah, we haven't tested Sati yet either. Coin spam is still a thing, by the way, but I believe Arcane Warding counters that, so that might be a case where you actually buy that new item. I don't know. Kind of wonder how would Trigger Scent work with other damage buffs and if there's any diminishing returns. The way I understand diminishing returns with the damage amps, Welcome it's a bit finicky. 
And anyone can feel free to correct me if I'm wrong and they've tested this more extensively than I have. But the way I believe it works is there are two types of damage buffs. Or damage amps, right? So you have the damage buff, which is you yourself, as the character, get your damage empowered. And you do just a bunch of damage to everybody. An example of this would be Furia's ultimate. Furia empowers you, you get a damage buff to all your damage. There are also damage debuffs, whereby you put something on the enemies and then they take more damage. For example, Tyra's hunting party. You put that on the enemy, that specific enemy takes more damage. The way I believe it works is damage debuffs incur diminishing returns on themselves. The damage buffs incur diminishing returns on themselves. But damage debuffs what? and damage buffs, if they intermingle, do not incur diminishing returns. That's the way I understand it. So, for example, if Fire Spit and Tyra's Hunter's Mark are on the same target, that'll have diminishing returns. If you get Field Study Torvald and Furia Cherish, uh, or Furia Ult, Five, that'll have diminishing returns. Four, three, but it won't if you two, Furia Ult someone one. who is also affected by a Tyra Mark. So I believe that's how that works. I could be mistaken. So, the way that would work, then, with Fernando here is, uh, if I were to get Furia in Flame, and then I would also have Trigger Scent proc. I believe that would incur diminishing returns with Inflame. But then if I had Trigger Scent proc and then shot someone with a Hunter's Mark, that would not have diminishing returns. I think that's how that works. Again, correct me if I'm wrong. It's a bit convoluted and confusing and hard to test. But, yeah. Uh, feel free to test it as well. Like, prove me wrong. I would love that. <laughs> I, I, I would love to learn more about that, because it is one of those weirder effects when it comes to diminishing returns, for sure. Ah, come here! <laughs> he got void gripped so high up I couldn't hit him. That's funny. Alright. I'm just going to build up credits early game here. I want to max out Trigger Scent as quickly as possible. And see how the damage feels, and also buy some meditation. I have a genesis. I'm not going to get healed, like, at all, <laughs> as Fernando. So... It also could be that maybe Trigger Scent is a third new type, uh, new type, and that it wouldn't have diminishing returns with any of the things I just mentioned. Because it also affects abilities, and none of the other amps I mentioned affect abilities like that. Like, they only affect weapon damage. So I don't know. I, I have no clue. Have a fireball. I really desperately need healing. Genos! Genos! Genos is dead! Oh my gosh, dude. I need meditation stat. I need meditation. I need so much meditation. He's playing Power Cosmium with no healing build when we have two tanks. No, why you gotta... Why? Why? Why would you do that? Okay. Uh, well, let's head out here and try and do some damage. See if I can get that Koga. I cannot get that Koga. Oh, and I got feared, so I'm instantly dead. Oh, man. Okay. Let's ask Cryptic if they're here. Cryptic! <laughs> I actually wonder if Cryptic knows. We'll see. I don't think they're here right now, though. But, uh, if they show up later in the stream, that'd be awesome. Oh my gosh, I got a mark. Let's go. I gotta shield this. My shield's gonna break. Okay. Let's allow meditation to take effect. So much better than a Genos mark. Let's go. <laughs> Woo! Ooh, Genos is dead as well. Let's be careful, then. Have a fireball. Uh-oh. Have a fireball. You should die. You should die. Yes. Now let me run away. Try and heal up out of combat. Meditation's gonna have to clutch up right now. And it is. And I'm getting healed so much right now. And now I can get back in the fight. Yes, meditation. I love you. This is probably my favorite new item. <laughs> Just because if my healer's bad or I want to play something silly, it's there for me. It's so reliable. I love it. Uh, ooh, crap, 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 crap. I can't heal out of combat right now. Oh, this might be bad. This might be the end. Ah, oh, I'm dead. Alright. Unfortunate. Let me buy Meditation 2, and then let me get some Trigger Scent just to see, because I do want to test out this match before we lose. Let's do some voice lines. 
since this skin got an updated voice pack, so I'm gonna shut up and play some lines. Rad. You're something else. I'm rocking. Curses. That's Capture too point bad. spawning in 15 seconds. Ah, uh, flood protection. Okay. It almost, it, it feels quiet to me. But it's interesting how he has that, like, echo. <laughs> like he's in some sort of grand coliseum. It's interesting. Fits the skin, I think. But yeah, let's play some more paladins now. Hi, have a fireball. I want to get a kill and then just slap someone with a fireball. See how that feels. See if it's even worth it on Fernando. It probably won't be worth it for the base, like, flame lance, because it just does so much damage. Or uh, so little damage. But, uh, it's really for the Scorch Fireball that we're testing it on, you know? Does Bloodbaths, uh, bleh. Does Bloodbath stack with itself if both you and the ally buy it? Uh, yes, it does. And that's where it becomes interesting. One thing I also think it might be worth testing is if the entire team buys Bloodbath. You know, if we can just get, like, fat burst heals on everybody every time someone gets a kill. Because if you and, like, three other allies have Bloodbath and you all participate on killing the tank, whoever gets the killing blow is going to get, well, let's see, uh, 600 times 4 people, that's 2400 burst heal, potentially. But Cauterize, because it is affected by Cauterize now, again, keep that in mind. I also don't even know if I can get a kill at this point to test Trigger Sense. Because we're just dying so much. So, I'll buff it up to level 2. I'll try my best to get a kill, but uh, it's not looking likely. Argenos low-key kind of decided to throw. I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't want to be mean, but like, kind of throw. <laughs> You're already dead. Oh, crap. I can't fireball that either. Help me! Oh, well, I killed the yawn, but I can't test the scorch because I'm dead to the yaggle. I'm not even going to test it this match, man. Gosh, guys. Oh, and our seven's a bot as well. That's just the worst. That's actually the worst, man. Why, why does the match have to be like this, huh? Oh, I can't ult. I can't even ult, dude. Bruh. Why? Why are you going to join my custom match? It's just a troll. Uh, okay. I'm out of coffee. That's just the worst. That's, that's the worst, man. Okay. Well, um, I got top kills. Let's go. Yay, Fernando Gaming. I didn't even get to test what I wanted to test. I hate it. Who trolled? Argenos on R7. R7 left, and Argenos uh, picked Power Cosme with two tanks. So, Was it the OF account? They AFK'd our game, too. OF. Uh, this person... Yes, they were the bot. I can kick them if they join the next one. Okay. Uh, let's do... Yeah, Stone Keep Day. Crossplay on. Create. Let's do another one. Okay. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're good, I think. <laughs> Kana didn't actually make it in. Wow. Alright, well... Uh, oh my gosh, people are just moving around, huh? I'll move you over here, and that's matchmaking, probably. <laughs> I don't know. Sage, choose your champion. Kind of want to try that again, but at the same time, I kind of don't. <laughs> I just don't think it's that interesting. Uh, let's do. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, man. Hmm. I gotta think. About how we want to do this. What what silly zany thing we can test? Vora, how is Vora now? We did already play Vora a little bit on the PTS, but we can play her again. Sure. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna be stupid no matter what. One thing we can test with Vora, I suppose, is how the new life rip feels on her. People used to buy life rip just to see a bunch of numbers on their screen, and because she already has good self sustain, and you can build that up. It wasn't necessarily the best strategy, though, but now with life up at 60%, maybe it is a really good strategy on Vora. So I'm curious to try that out. That's we could also try out Trigger Sense again. Uh, or maybe, I don't know, a different item entirely. <laughs> we'll see. Test Bloodbath 
on the entire team, two and one. We could do that as well. That's a lot of credits, though. Honestly, the enemy team has an Octavia. It might be better for them to try it, because Octavia could go credit passive, and then they could get even more credits for that. Because it is the most expensive item in, in the game, and all three people need to buy it. Or all five people need to buy it to level three. So, that that's a hefty undertaking, for sure. You think because Bring I'm back the Red Army and go suspect? all bloodbath. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll do Relentless. And, oh boy. My bad Vora builds on the PTS again. Crap. Um, no, god, that's disgusting. I guess I'll just use this build again. It's not great, but it is what it is. And then we will do Horde and Life Rip. And just try that out. Is Corvus using the Lifesteal card? He is. Wait. That says... Oh, wait, that's level 1. I was like, wait a second, 2.5%? That's really low. <laughs> no, it's only level 1. I was tripping for a sec. I feel like the Lifesteal card is redundant. Five, four, now, with Life Rip scaling so high, because once you get Life Rip 3, one, that card is going to get diminished time. so heavily. Like, it's going to be kind of insane how much it diminishes. Anyways, hello gamers, have this. Vora got changed on the PTS to become burstier at the cost of normalizing her, uh, her DOT. So she does less damage over time now, but the damage over time still has the same duration. Meaning she effectively retains all the benefits of damage over time, in terms of the tickle damage, consistent pressure, and being able to track people through walls, you know, the pseudo reveal. But she now also gets the benefits of having burst damage. Before, you would run into issues where you would do a bunch of damage to somebody, they would kill you, and then the damage over time would kill them after you already died. And that sucked. Now, with more burst damage, you're more likely to kill them and not die, and then just live, move on, attack the next person, do whatever. So it's a nice buff. And it feels really good. Of course, we're losing right now, but uh, hopefully we can fix that. <laughs> we'll see. They have a pretty spooktastic uh, spook yeah, comp, though, so... Hello. Are you doing the silly? Come back here. I'm chasing that. Ah. Oh my gosh, the shmovement, man. The shmovement. Oh my gosh, he's just running. Okay, I'm gonna run away, too. I'm dead, man. Oh, crap, I can't do anything. <laughs> He, he was getting healed from somewhere for so much. He must have gotten a little attacks, because I could not stop him. I need more cauterize with that double support comp. All right. Oh my gosh, I'm already almost dead just leaving spawn. We need some space right now, man. Need some room to breathe. Holy crap. Do a little bit of damage out there. We are struggling right now, though. I might be looking for ults. I'm not going to let him have it. I'm also going to get stuck on the wall and not go where I want it at all. Okay. Hello. Please stay over there. This is just not working. We do not have enough pressure in the slightest to take these guys on. We need to last long enough for Cauterize to ramp up. Otherwise, yeah, we just lose this match, I think. It's so tough. We keep picking, like, really bad supports for double tank comps. <laughs> like, we have Yagaroth, and we had Genos last match, and we have Corvus this match. Both of them really suck at healing Yag. <laughs> and a second tank as well. Really rough. Uh, I can't even really buy Life Rip 2. I only have one kill. I just can't kill anything. They have so much more damage and so much more healing than us. Really unfortunate. Oh my gosh, like I'm almost dead just walking out of the spawn door right now. It's crazy how much pressure they have. Lilith's on a 14 streak, like what the heck? Oi. We just got comp diffed. Oh, we have crack shot Strix nerfing his DPS as well. Oh man. Yeah. We picked a low damage and low sustain comp versus a high damage and high sustain comp. <laughs> Oof. Mm. Oops. Mm. That's uh that's mighty unfortunate. 
Life rip plus false idol card, life seal and speed on Elim plus trigger set. Uh, I'm pretty sure that card has diminishing returns with regular life seal though, right? Oh my god. Okay, let's play really passive then, team. The movement speed might be interesting. Might be better just to go for, like, proper lifesteal, though. I mean, I don't know. Hello. Haha. <laughs> like, maybe lethality, trigger sense, lifesteal, something like that. Maybe. I don't know. Look at all those healing numbers, though. Wow, I'm getting intense amounts of healing. And I'm about to be intensely dead if I don't get out of here right now. Oh, boy. Stop it. Oh, I can't see anyone, man. Genos is really low. He jumped directly above that one shot that would have actually hit. Oh my gosh. Okay, well. We're kind of trying to get touched, maybe a little bit. It's not working out. Just can't kill anything, man. Maybe ranked is better. What do you mean? Ranked on PTS? Are you joking? <laughs> that doesn't exist. That's not a real thing. Silly. My life at purchase did not confirm. I have to rebuy it. What? Goofy item store. Oh, come on. I just got here. I just got I Oh, I just want to play the game. I, I just want to play the game. I just want to test new Vora, man. This is unfair. This is so unfair. I'm getting hard targeted. What is this? This is so mean. So mean. Okay. Mm. Oh, there's that Lilith. Can cripple her. Uh, she's so low, but I cannot get her right now. We have no one alive. My entire team is just always dead all the time. As am I, honestly. Like I said, we picked a low damage and low sustain combo. These guys. Oh, he got full healed. I still killed him though with that burst. I'm dead though. Jamie redeemed engineer, welcoming kitten to stream in full screen. Howdy, y'all. I'm an engineer, and I'd like to welcome kitten to the stream. Really appreciate that. Welcome in. Oh, hello. Bro, they're not even pushing. They're not even pushing. What, what is this? They're not even pushing. Con, get out of here. You can't do it. I'm one. Alright, let me try this. Gotcha. Huge. First help there again as well. Ooh, alright. Huge. Okay, well... We're holding on to this, I think, because they just decided not to push the point there for a second, but, uh, okay, cool. Oh, hello. You have no mobility now. Ah, but well, you still have Genos and Lilith Hex. Okay. Yago left. Oh my gosh, we lost another person. Brilliant. I love having bots. Stay over there, please. Stay over there. Oh boy. Okay. I can't even make it up there. Ah! Alright. Ah, can't even avoid having bots in custom games, man. That's just... that's the worst, honestly. Like, bruh. <laughs> custom games on the PTS still get bots on the team. This is just a, an extremely unfortunate situation, really. And now my screen's black. Now we're stuck. Look at the message they sent. I did not see the message, and I can't even see the message right now because I'm stuck. <sighs> What's up with the PTS, man? Why is that, why is it a black screen? Oh. There we go. Default loading screen? Okay, we're here. <laughs> I got five kills. I can't see the chat. Oh, I didn't even realize their name. Their name is terrible. Oh, boy. Uh, is the PTS down? Is that what happened here? 
Reconnect. Completing login. If you're on the PTS, why are you enabling crossplay? It's not on consoles. Because if because it was bugging out some people and they still couldn't see the match because I had the crossplay setting off for some reason. Uh, I know controller players can't like join, but also I think you can plug in a controller and play a controller on the PTS anyway. So there's also that. But uh, yeah, it's just it's a weird setting thing. Oh boy. Okay, we're back in now. Jeez. <clears throat> Okay, so the ag was a troll. Well, uh, brilliant. Let's just go again. Uh, let's play on... I don't know. Ice Mines! Let's try a match here. We haven't played Ice Mines really at all either. Create the game. I guess we have to vet it for trolls now. Let me read everyone's name real carefully here. Um, Ella, please, can I move some people around? Thank you. Um, try to make this a bit more fair. I don't think we have any trolls this time. Yeah, I think we're fine. Hopefully. Maybe. Possibly. Potentially. Mayhaps. Uh, might do this as well. There. Alright. Oop. Game starting. Uh-oh. Did the custom match break too? Oh, no. We're in. Okay, we're good. Quickly! Goodness, this game is bugging out a lot right now. Okay. Can you try 120% life rip buck? Sure, we can try that. I don't know how good it'll be on ice mines, but... Oh, I can't click anything. I can't click a champion. Is anyone else having this problem? I assume so, because no one else has clicked a champion. Bro, the PTS is bugging... Buck. Okay, I finally got it. My team is so slow to pick. Okay. I'm just going to try and lock it in. Oh, boy. Could be PTS falling apart. Can't type either. Servers yeah, are dying. Yeah. yeah. You're gonna look stupid no matter what. Oh, no. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, I got Buck locked in. Oh, man. Go I hope time. the... Hold Test up. session doesn't come Snacks, to an unfortunate ammo, close. Inhaler. Oh, man, they got Torvald Khan. I'm not going to be able to test life rip well against these guys at all. I can't life steal a shield. Oh, man. My screen went black at the same time as yours did in the main game. You get used to it, honestly. Oh, boy. <laughs> the hamster stopped running. Not the paladin server hamster. Oh, that poor, poor hamster. He's overworked, man. Single hamster, running the entire servers. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Let's see if we can even load in here. Hopefully, it'll let us. Huddle up, guys. Oop. Let's yep, do there this. we go. Hopefully, the ping's Wait, okay guys. as well. We're gonna try 120% life steal buck. What that means is we run bully at level five. Bully is one of only two car my I meant to do a weapon inspect my bindings reset as well. Let me fix that. There we go. Um Bully is one of only two cards in this game that do not incur diminishing returns with lifesteal, even though it's also a direct source of lifesteal. For whatever strange reason. The other card being Pip's lifesteal card on slow. So effectively the same card as Bucks. And so what we can do is we can have 120% lifesteal by stacking 60% with 60%. And then we can get even more healing with Rapid Sustain when we're low. So it should be pretty silly, but they have a Torvald, which ruins my entire plan because you can't lifesteal Torvald. Or at least most of Torvald, because he's got a massive shield, you can't lifesteal a shield. They also have Khan. I'm going to be hitting a lot of shields, and I don't have Racker, and this is mighty unfortunate. And I thought we said no shield tanks. Or no shield abusing, anyways. XSP's got Guardian. Oh my god. They're just throwing the rules out the door. You thought I forgot? I did not forget. Also, he just used all his energy. Still killed Kinesa somehow. Okay, brilliant. Oh. Whoa, what? Where where'd my health go? Jeez, okay. Oh, Kana's just murdering everything with a Torvald pocket. I see how it is. Guys. Did I not make it clear enough about the Torvald and the Guardian and the shield abusing? Oh, man. 
Already got some pretty good lifesteal, though. I'm at 80% lifesteal on whoever I net shot. Boom. If I don't net shot them, though, it is only 20%. But once I max out lifesteal, it's still 60%. It's basically like I have permanent bully. And then when I proc bully, I get double effect. It's pretty interesting. Even at that range, I'm getting a few hundred healing right now under early game cauterize. Boom. Gotcha. All right, let me recharge. Let's hop back in. Hello. Oh, no. I need to heal. Thank you, Lilith. Okay. Oop, I slowed Kana. Yeah, come on, Fernando, stay alive. Well, you got that true life steal. All right. Yeesh. Oh, what? I pressed recharge. I got massive heals from Lilith. I still died. <laughs> I took a lot of damage there. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's get more life rip. Kness dead, Ying said we need to really regroup right now. You guys do realize this is Paladins, right? Once in a blue moon we get close games. I know. But like. Meh. Irritating, it's frustrating. No. E. Oh, we got the hex. Let me jump up here real quick. See what I can do. Slow you down, maybe. He's just charging him down. Mm. The shield's back, man. Ooh, I might be able to make it in spawn. Hey, there we go. We sort of live that. We're going to lose the cap, though, for sure. Yikes. Uh, ice mines are supposed to be the long 3-3 three three matches. What's going on? Wow, it's almost like they picked Torvald in the PTS. I have a theory as to why these cards aren't diminished. Maybe it has something to do with the lifesteal talent. Being on an ability right-click, and that conflicts with the code of the game. That is, yeah, one of the better guesses to it. I, I don't know. I'm pretty sure there are other lifesteal cards that are conditional, though. Like on an ability, or on, you know, getting below a certain threshold of health. And those do have diminishing returns, so it's still just really weird. They're also some of the oldest cards in the game, because these are some of the oldest characters in the game. So that could be another thing, you know? Spaghetti code. I don't know. It's goofy. It's a weird game. Okay, I'll pop over here and see what I can do. Although Koga's just in here right now. I'm already dead. Great. <laughs> oh boy. That's awesome. He's just constantly got a shield, man. It's thanks, Grandpa, too. Glyph of Freedom. Reduction, that's weird. Glyph of Health. Eldritch Speed. Maxing out the Kronos. So much fun, right? Okay, you don't have ult now. I should be able to kill you. Missed the flick. Hit you there, though. Took a sec, but we got you. I desperately need Wrecker. How am I still dead? How much damage are you doing? What? Bro. Okay, I'm buying Wrecker. I don't care about life for free anymore. We have a 100% lifesteal box. That's close enough. You just can't use it against the shield, so it's... Uh, I guess this is the uh, demonstration of the worst case scenario with lifesteal box, because you cannot use it well against a comp like this at all. In the slightest. Not even a little bit. And they've got a Torvald and another shield tank. Oof. It's rough. I barely even got that kill on Betty there, man. Khan is also doing, like, an insane amount of damage. Okay. Uh, let's get back in. We really need to regroup as well. Fernando's ulting basically alone. I hit my head! No! Terrible jump. I guess I'll help battle on the point then. We do have Grover over here. Oh, I think he left. Yeah. Mm. I could dive that. You know what? Let's just go in. Gotcha. Recovery is not enough. I got a 600 heal on that Betty, though. Uncauterize. Just not enough to let me live there. I'm close to Wrecker, too, but I don't think it makes a difference. We're just getting clobbered. 
Because, yeah, I don't know if you knew this, but Torvald's OP. <laughs> and the new patch with Guardian. Guardian 1? Yeah, even, even though he stopped at Guardian 1, that's still enough to A, make his protection even stronger. But B, it brings his protection back up to 3,000. Or uh, his personal bubble, I mean, up to 3,000. Which is the same level as when Torvald was OP. Like, genuinely OP. They had to nerf him at the start of Season 6. You know, they buffed him to 3,000 shield, and then they nerfed it because it was way too strong. So that alone is enough to bring him back up to being OP, and then he bought Kronos and the rest on top of it all. It's just, it's, it's... I thought we said no, Torvald! <sighs> Alright, well, there's 100% lifesteal buck. <laughs> In the worst possible light. Because it didn't work against that comp. Not even a little bit. Okay, I am, uh... Ugh. Uh, I'm annoyed. We're not allowing Torvald. I need to make that explicitly clear, apparently. Uh, so I'll say it again. No Torvald. And... Yeah. No Torvald. Just, just no Torvald. I thought we banned Guardian, not Torv. I mean... We banned shield abusing. You guys picked two shield tanks, one of whom was Guardian, and uh, one of whom was Torvald, and then picked Guardian. So, like... That's that's what I said is not allowed. Uh, okay. Um, you two can sit out, because I want to give other people a chance to join. Uh, I forget who else has been in. I don't think we have trolls right now, hopefully. So we'll do that, and we'll start. There we go. Hernando did as well, so I didn't know. I didn't see him, but at least he's just one tank. But yeah, I just... I, it's not my Guardian, okay? Oh my god! I, what did I just say? What did I just say? Okay. Guys... I get that you want to play with OP Guardian, but it's OP, and it's going to get a nerf, and we need to test other stuff. <laughs> okay. Uh, rank draft. I guess we have to bring back the rank draft, honestly. People are just addicted to Torvald. I love playing Torvald as much as the next guy, but come on, man. Okay. Uh, I don't even know. Ten seconds remaining. I'll play Koga, I guess. Why Koga. not? Yeah, yeah. You're going to look stupid no matter what. Reading comprehension chat. It's not even reading comprehension. Let People can't even listen. Begin. It's so sad. Okay, the enemy team listened. Thank goodness for that. Phew. <laughs> Let's play with the other 19 items in the item store. Or 18 items in the item store. Not just Guardian Wrecker the entire time. That's all I'm asking. That's all I'm asking. What changed with Guardian? Okay, the reason why it's OP, Live your life on the edge. they doubled it to 60%, and they made it cheaper than Wrecker. So, it the arm in the arms race between Guardian and Wrecker, Guardian is now quicker to achieve than Wrecker, and turns late-game Wrecker into just Wrecker 1. But if you don't buy Wrecker at all, then you have shields that exceed 10,000 HP in a lot of cases, or, you know, get close to, like, 8,000 just crazy levels of HP, and it's too strong, and you are forced to buy Wrecker. It's not a healthy dynamic. So, yeah. Uh, let's also... I mean, Kana played Dragon Fangs. It seems interesting. We have a Lilith. Maybe I can buy Life Rip and see if we can do something with that. Dash spam, we could do that. Life steal, Gale Storm. I don't have switch speed though, so I might do this build instead. It's not great, but I guess it'll work. And then let's do some life rip and see how it feels. Koga got some very interesting buffs this patch. First of all, they restored some of the power to Adrenaline Junkie, thank goodness. They absolutely massacred that talent last patch. Nice to see it get a little bit of love this patch. Be not quite back up to its former self, but still decently close. And the Claws also got the ability, as you saw there, to pierce targets. And that's really, really nice as well. For multiple reasons. First of all, I really like it specifically for the fact that it's forcing you now to choose. Do you want the utility of piercing damage, or do you need the higher single target damage of the SMGs? It's a way to buff Claw Stance without just making the raw single target damage higher. 
The second reason why it's good is, well, we can talk about the utility now. You're allowed to pierce through targets, which in tight hallways allows you to hit multiple people and potentially get killed through multiple enemies, right? So that's nice. Uh, but also, if you have a bunch of deployables on the enemy team, then you can also basically uh, pierce through those and clear the field of deployables. We tested this yesterday. We played Koga versus a comp that had Ying, Barrack, and Grok. And it felt really good. I mean, the first time it was a failure because of the matchmaking, and our own team comp was really bad, but the second time it worked pretty well. So, yeah, it's just, uh, it's really nice utility. And then also, as I'm sure you can tell, we move faster in Dragon Stance now, too. I have no movement speed. I'm not using agility. I have no movement speed card. We are inherently 25% faster in Claw Stance. So a little bit of a movement speed buff as well. Which I think makes sense, considering the Claw Stance is more of the quote-unquote melee fighter stance. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's not melee by any stretch of the imagination, but it, it's that martial play style, you know? Like, martial arts sort of thing. It, it's, it's supposed to be reminiscent of that, okay? Use your imagination a little bit. <laughs> He's a ninja with the loudest footsteps in the game, alright? So, yeah. It's pretty silly. Oop, alright. Oh, I messed up. All right. Let me get some more lifesteal. I'm just gonna max that out. Okay. And spam some more claws and stuff and things. 25% passive sounds a lot. It's 5% more than Sky's passive while in this. Oh, that was mean. See, this is why we got a Bant Torvald. I mean, he can do that with a, like, 4,000 health shield if he buys Guardian. At least this one's not buying Guardian, but, like, oh my god. Ooh, can I buy Life Rip 3? I can. Yes, let's go. Life Rip 3. All right. 60% lifesteal on Dragon Stance. That should now be more than enough self-sustain to make up for the fact that I'm killing myself. <laughs> with uh, with Dragon Fangs, because the talent does self-damage, you know? Uh-oh, Drogos. Ooh, he got Eevee at least. Well done. I guess I am still playing my hybrid build, so I can kind of do SMG stuff for a little bit here. Just kind of leech some healing. I don't think this build has trigger happy. Oh, it does! Okay, so I can get extra sustain off that as well. That's another thing to keep in mind, chat, with the new life rip and Koga, is the trigger happy card is really good with lifesteal. Especially with lifesteal scaling as high as it does. Because it stacks multiplicatively with it. There is no diminishing returns, and it's actually a really good way to ramp up the healing. It just increases your healing received while firing SMGs. Just straight up. It's a raw healing bonus. So, yeah, you basically take the 60% lifesteal, and then you multiply that by a further 20%. Or 25%, or whatever it is at max. I'm almost dead. But yeah, that can give you some massive, very chunky sustain. And if you pair that with something like a Genos Mark... You get increased healing from that while firing SMGs. It's really sick, honestly. Whee! I'm probably dead. Yeah, I'm very dead. Okay. Uh, do we have this? Corvus is dead. Lilith is ulting and popping off right now. We gotta get our tanks back here, though. Lilith's ult is over. She's getting focused. Aw, oh, the push has failed. Okay, unfortunate. What other items can I buy? I guess I can stack it with Nimble. Nimble is really cheap now, and I can get 21% plus 25%. A little diminishing returns, but we're looking at about 40 to 45% movement speed, roughly, which should be pretty nice. Remember that Torvald guide I had in the works last summer berating people who buy a Guardian? Oh, how times have changed. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, it's almost certainly getting a nerf. There's no way it can go into live servers like this. And if it does go into live servers like this, we're going to see at least a month straight of massive shield comps. And it's basically going to turn into Overwatch 1 with just Goat's meta. Calling it now. A new kill to heal is crazy. Have you tested if it works with Rejuve yet? It's crazy. Crazy bad. 
I have tested it a few times, and it is basically not noticeable. Especially for the amount of credits you spend, I don't think the new Kill the Heal is worth it at all. I tried it on Rom, I tried it on Genos, because they can theoretically get a lot of assists. Ooh, I'm actually alive. Thank you. Thanks. But yeah, theoretically they can get a lot of assists, which means they heal their team. Right? But, yeah, it was completely not noticeable in the slightest. I think I should get a price decrease. I think 325 is just really crazy expensive. You can theoretically stack it with other teammates and get, you know, really big bursts on everybody all the time. But, yeah. It's still, uh, just so expensive. It's hard to justify. Why not just buy Sentinel? And you get a 450 health shield. It's way cheaper. The shield cannot be cauterized, because, duh, it's a shield. And you also get a bit of crowd control reduction on the side against knockbacks and the like, right? You're already I think that's way more worthwhile if you want to kill the heal. It's basically the new kill the heal, honestly. People are talking about nothing but Guardian and Trigger Scent. Yeah. I don't think Trigger Scent needs much. I, I honestly don't even really think it's that much of a problem, personally. I haven't seen much to justify needing to nerf it in a major way. Um, I'm also going to die. Holy crap, he just got the jump on me. I was just trying to come back from spawn, man. Yikes, I'm talking with chat. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, if they do anything to trigger sent, it might just be like a price increase. Okay, no more screwing. What you could do, honestly that I'm kind of in favor of, is you could swap the price of Lethality and Trigger Scent. So Trigger Scent goes up to 250, but Lethality goes down to 200. I think that would be spicy. But, uh, I don't know. Let me know what you think about that one. That could be a bit too spicy. <laughs> I don't know. Trigger Scent on Eevee is nasty. I have seen a little bit of that. You also gotta remember, though, uh, the new... Holy crap. Leon buff. Oof. And also self-damage. Oof. But you also gotta remember, uh, the DR items are a lot stronger now. And, for example, in that case with Eevee, armor plating completely counters it. Armor plating counters Eevee really hard. Yeah. So, like, I've seen some people use Over the Moon with Trigger Scent. But if you buy Trigger Scent 2, that counters, uh, or excuse me, if you buy Armor Plating 2, that counters Trigger Scent level 3. And gives you 1% DR to spare. And then the next level of trigger... Crap. I'm getting the names confused. I'm sorry. The next level of armor plating after that... Will give you further inoculation to actually bite back against Over the Moon. So, just remember to buy that versus an Over the Moon Eevee with that. And uh, it should be helpful. I actually haven't played Eevee on the PTS at all. Uh... A, because I don't want to try hard in customs, and I know if I play Eevee, I'm going to sweat, because that's just how I play Eevee. But also, I've been testing, like, a billion other changes, so I just haven't gotten around to it, honestly. Eee. So long. I did play BK one time, but I was kind of goofing off with silly spawn traps. I don't consider that tryharding. I mean, geez, you walk into the bombs, and then you die. You just look for the bombs, and don't step on the bombs. <laughs> Five head. Easy. Alright, let me try and use some more claws. Boom. Oop. I just ran out of health. She just hit me. Wow, okay. <laughs> Dang. Couldn't claw anymore. I still hate this talent so much. Genuinely, if I'm going to play Claw Koga, I'm still going to play Adrenaline Junkie. Because... I hate all the self-damage I take from this talent. Even with lifesteal, I'm still just killing myself, you know? Over and over again. And with Adrenaline Junkie and a high-efficiency build, I can stay in Claws all day long. The only thing I can't do is Skewer Spam, but I'm fine with that. And I can actually play a bit more safe, not take self-damage, gain the full benefits of lifesteal, have more energy uptime as well to use the regular dashes if I need. It's just a better system than using Dragon Fangs. The only good thing about Dragon Fangs Capture is the skewer spam. So, yeah, I'm not a fan. I think the maths is that Haven 1 counters trigger sense. Three, let me Five, check. Four, three, uh, two, DR and damage one. amp don't scale linearly. You need 100% damage amp to counter 50% DR. Oh, that's true, Kana. I forgot about that. 
you're right on that, actually. Lesson two. I forgot Use masks for a sec. It advantage. might be armor plating one to counter trigger sent three, which in that case it's even better versus over the moon Eevee. Because you can inoculate yourself even further. So basically buy uh buy armor plating. Uh versus Eevee and Leon and characters like that. Okay. Ooh, she TP'd right into it. I'm gonna use the swarm. If I can. Oh, Lilith, you are a lifesaver. I love you. Thank you so much. Uh, oh my gosh, all the healing is amazing. Alright, I'm gonna skewer out of here real quick. I'm just gonna free fire on Inara real quick and just play a bit carefully here. Yikes! Okay. Hello. Gotcha. Let me chase Eevee down here real quick. Oh, that nullify is mean. Ah, uh, Torvald. <laughs> At least he's not buying Guardian. At least we can appreciate that, okay? That's good. I think that's okay. But next time I'm definitely turning on Rank Draft because I want to ban Torvald. <laughs> uh, no Torvald. I love Torvald, but not on the PTS, okay? Too much. Too, too much. Hi! Boom. Slice and dice and eat the swarm. Lovely. Oop, I got pushed by the wall there for a sec. I lose this. He hit the first claw and he has Corvus. I messed that up horribly, my bad. Uh I guess I'll max out armor. Yeah. Okay, no more screw. It's alright. Yeah, because armor's really good against Leon. It counters all of her abilities, because they're all weapon shots. And it counters Claw Koga. And it counters Eevee. Yeah. I think officially now the only item I haven't bought on the PTS is uh, Arcane Warding, because I just have never needed to. I think the idea of ability versus weapon split is good on paper, but in practice, I feel like the ability DR is hard to justify, because there's just so few abilities you have to counter directly, you know? Like, most of the scary abilities are ultimates, but I don't think that's enough to justify it by itself. Oh, crap! I don't have energy! Uh, okay, we're fine. Thank you, team. Oof. Like, on the enemy team, I would buy Arcane Warding to counter Eevee ult, but she's not Snow Globe. Corvus ult, but who cares about that? In our ult and Warder's Field. Warder's Field not, is not even used for damage. And Koga ult and Skewer. That's not enough to justify it. Warning! PTS is coming down shortly. Oh, no! Hi, Cryptic. How shortly? Can we play one more match? Or... Are you cutting my session short? I'm scared. I'm not seeing a response. Oh, no! <laughs> Shortly. It may happen by the time you could even queue. Oh, it's that shortly? Man, we were gonna do more testing. We were gonna finally play Ranked Draft 2 so we can ban Torvald, because he was in the last two matches and he terrorized everybody. <laughs> oh, God. Koga's fun, though, with this new change. I like it. I'm not gonna play Dragon Fangs when I play this henceforth, but I do like the claws. Oh, and there it is. No! No! My PTS. Ah. <sighs> well, I've done most of the testing I wanted in the last two days, so that's good. We did get a few matches in with stealth characters. We got some mixed opinions about it. I know Questionator said it wasn't fun to play against Sky. I don't remember much of the feedback from the others. Uh... And if you were in those matches, feel free to give the feedback to Cryptic, because they're right here. <laughs> you know, from the matches we tested earlier about the stealth. That was the main thing I wanted to test today. I'm glad we got that done. I guess I'll exit out the game then. Oh man, that's sad. <laughs> that's so sad. Is the PTS fully over? We're not 100%. We'll communicate once we've decided. Okay, well please do. Uh, if the PTS comes back up. Because I will continue to do more. As long as the PTS is here. 
I feel like Shaolin benefits a lot from the stealth changes. He does. I played him once. He was very powerful. Shaolin in general, very powerful. So, yeah. Sorry for catching Torvald. I had just arrived on live. It's all right. At the end of the day, it's a match. And you didn't buy Guardian, and I'm... Uh, that's all right. I just... Yeah. You don't... Uh, you've just arrived, so you don't know how much I've been terrorized by Torvald and Shields this PTS. Yesterday's stream... Oof. It was rough. It was rough, man. <laughs> but now it's fine. Don't worry about it. You're okay. It's it's fine. We disagree that it would terrorize, but we're seeing how feasible getting it into life versus waiting on the change is. Let me read what that was in reference to. Oh, the ROM changes, right. I'm not worried that it'll terrorize High Elo. High Elo knows how to counter ROM. There are still a million things you can do to counter him. My big concern with the ROM buffs is that, yeah, it will terrorize low ELO. That's what I'm worried about. Because think about it. If you're new to the game, you don't know what you're doing. You're just walking around shooting things. And you have no sense of how to group up, what abilities counter what, what items counter what. So if you're in gold or below, ROM with 8,000 plus health, 10,000 HP basically with new veteran, right? Running at your face with 800 damage per second, hitting headshots to ramp it up even higher, and healing all of your damage back uncauterized is going to be pretty disgusting. In high elo, there are counters to that. Shoot, Torvald. <laughs> That's all you need to counter ROM, honestly. But uh, low elo doesn't know that, and so I'm worried for them. That's that's what we got to make sure of. I like the idea of it ignoring cauterize, but uh, you might. I guess want to check the scaling and make sure that the healing isn't ramping up too high, you know? But yeah, uh, I guess it's unfortunate that the PTS is down now. Um, I don't really know what we're going to do now. <laughs> I might just end stream, because honestly, I streamed for, what, five hours yesterday and like seven hours on Monday? We did a lot of streams. So I might just like go like, prepare a bunch of videos and get those ready, and I also, by the way, I gotta work on my randomizers and stuff. People actually do still use that, occasionally. Like, uh, you guys remember this, right? And the other randomizer, the champion box? I gotta update those for this patch, so, uh, <laughs> I, I might go do that as well. I, I don't plan on doing a coding live stream. that seems a bit silly, but, you know, uh, we, we gotta do stuff for this as well, right? So, um, yeah. I guess we'll call it here. We'll probably go raid somebody else then, uh, who might be on live servers. We'll see if anyone's, like, playing ranked or something. Looks like Z1 Unknown's online. Let me refresh and make sure. Uh, yeah, Z1 streaming, nerd streaming. Alright, chat, do you want nerd or do you want Z1 today? Which, which, which one would you like to raid? Nerd, nerd, nerd. Wow, lots for nerd. Okay. Nerd, that's a geek it is. Uh, looks like, yeah, she's on live servers, so. Yeah. Go have some fun over there. And yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Short stream today, I apologize for that, but you know, what are you going to do when the PTS goes down, right? And uh, I will see you all next time. Peace out.